Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today's video is going to be a bit of a follow-on from the last video. You can check that out up here or up there, wherever it is. Um, but we went, took a couple of the kids down, we went to the river that runs along the back garden, stuck the GoPro in the river and see what we could see floating around, and got some grainy images of some smallish fish. Not really sure what they are, some kind of minnow, I think. Um, so I thought, what can we do next? Let's go and see if we can try and catch some. So, in order to do that, we're going to turn so, in order to do that, we're going to turn this into this, and this is going to catch us some fish, hopefully. Very quickly, we'll run through what we've got. We've got a two litre bottle here. All we're going to do is strip off, strip off the label, give it a good clean out, and then I'm going to use the handy lines that's already here. So it's got some lines about a third of the way down. I'm going to cut it across there, and that'll give you two sections like this. Essentially what's going to happen is we're going to invert this section, push it in, it should just fit really snugly in there. And what we've got is a bit for a funnel effect if you like. It's basically a modified snail trap that I've made my DIY snail traps out of. Fish swims in there, some bait in this end can't easily get its way back out unless it swims out in the middle. And that's the theory. So what we need to do is cut some holes in the bottom. So I've drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom of it. That lets the water flow through. Uh, and then I've also cut a couple of holes here which line up and you push them together so I can tie a bit of fishing line to them. Pop a bit of bread in there, chuck it in the river and away we go. I'm going to go one step further with this one and try and attach a GoPro to this so as we can see what's happening underwater. Um, so I have some ideas but we'll see how we get on with that. But that's effectively it. Dead simple. Um, I'm not going to catch these fish and keep them, I just want to see if we can catch anything at all. Who knows what we'll get. Um, uh, get down into the river, see if we can catch something, we'll bring a little specimen box or something, and we can have a look at them a bit closer and see if we can identify them. So I'm still rubbish at fish identification, so if I do manage to catch some, stick around to the end of the video, and see if you can see them, and if you know what they are, bother a comment down below and let me know. Cheers. Let's go on with it. So this is editor me chipping in because the microphone crapped out on me and did a few times throughout this, so I might bob in later as well. Um, but this is the scene we got on the way down to the river. So these are it's Sheffield's version of the Environment Agency, the local, I think it's the Five Rivers Trust or something like that. They were out there doing a bit of an audit, so they had cordoned off sections of the river and were going down with this little barge, electrocuting fish and collecting them so they could effectively sample the river and see what kind of fish are in there and what kind of sizes and check their health and all that kind of stuff. So it was good to see them get taken an interest and I think we're going to publish all their findings on the internet so we can look up afterwards and see what they're up to. So we just bobbed on past these guys and then went down to our little spot so we could do our own version. So family outing number two back to the spot where we found the minnows on the GoPro. We put out a couple of traps, so we're going to put out a couple of traps to see what we can actually find. I've brought a little specimen box along so we can so we can hopefully get a closer look at anything that we might catch. Um we'll see what we can find. What's just happened? Yeah, well, I got into the water and my feet are very, very wet and I'm sad. Why are you in the water? Because uh, my nose not very smart and uh, the GoPro fell off. <laughs> so I had to go in there and get it. So, so. Sorry, son. <laughs> We've had the traps out for about 10 minutes. The GoPro idea where I was going to attach it to the trap to see some fish getting trapped, hopefully. It didn't work out, as you might have seen. I had to have Alistair in the river picking it out again. Um, I've seen some activity, there's been some bubbles. I've not put them out far. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have something to look at in a few minutes. But, you know, nice day out, nothing else.
Um, how, many, how many have we got? Uh, we don't know. You counted them? No. no. Yeah. We can't. There's too many. That's quite a successful haul. So mm. that was in what, about 15 minutes, 20 minutes? Yeah. yeah. I would say they're all just your common minnows. So mm. I'm afraid we haven't captured a new species today. Very special ones, sadly. But that was just a little bit of bread. 15 minutes. Do that for a haul. We're not going to keep them, we just got this little tub out so we could have a look at them. And then we're going to put them back. Wow. I mean, they've got quite good markings, very intricate markings. Yeah, and look at their tails. I think that might be two different fish. I don't know what kind of fish that one is. Not fine, this one. There's one of them is a bit different. Oh. Well, what's the one? See, there's two very different looking fish. Well, it's not very different, but I that one's going to stripe it and that one's got a long lateral line. Oh, I jumped up. Right, let's get them, put them back in the river. I want to put this one in the river. Right, let's just tip them in from the water. Okay, can I do it? No, you might fall in. And Alice has already fell in, so that's not too bad. Okay. Right, four and a half steps in, because you dropped a gopo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I had a few audio problems there and um, unfortunately I dropped my main camera the other day and it was worse than I thought and it's completely dead now so I was scrambling to put that together from GoPro footage and DJI footage and just gave up in the end. It's as good as I could get it but I thought the video was worth making because it was excellent day out with the kids. We Well, day out, it was like half an hour after dinner down by the river. A huge haul of little minnows. What I was trying to say in there is I think they were all common minnows. There was two different types that I could see. One had more of a, a solid lateral line um, with the dark on top, like, lighter on the bottom. The others were more of a stripy fish. But they both had a bit of a red tinge to the tail, so maybe they were just males and females of the same species. They all looked very similar, but there was kind of 15, 20 fish there caught in such a small amount of time. Um, so, like I said, they were only out of the water for 10 minutes or so and then straight back into the water. Uh, I didn't want to keep them, but it has kind of inspired me to think about keeping a native tank because they did look really cool. I mean, they were obviously really scared because they were whipped out of their environment, put in this little plastic tub, and they were all kind of keeking themselves and crammed into the corner. But maybe in a, a nice, scaped, natural aquarium, I think they would be really good. Um, obviously, they should stay small, being minnows, but. I'll, I'll do some more research, but let me know in the comments if you think they are just the common minnow, minnow the Eurasian minnow I think someone suggested in one of the last videos. Um, I think that's what they are. Um, but there's obviously loads of other fish in there because those environment agency folks in there were pulling out graylings, chub, um, tench, roach, all kinds of stuff they were pulling out. Um, and so it would be interesting to see what we could catch there on a, a larger basis. Um, but that's it for this time. Sorry about the audio quality, but thanks for hanging in there. Let me know on the bottom if you like it. Um, if you give me a thumbs up, that would be great. If you give me a subscribe, if you fancy this kind of thing, that would be even better. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh,